Hi guys, my name is Pita and I am from Hope Design Studio. So, a couple days ago, I saw a cool vintage poster and I want to recreate it by only using Canva. I already have a poster in here that I made earlier. I will keep it as a reference for the color and the font. First of all, let's make a new page. So I'm going to fill the background with fade green color and then I will put a sun ray pattern for the background because I saw that a lot of vintage posters use this kind of background. Let's adjust the transparency. Okay, now press C to make a circle. Um, let's make it a bit bigger. Position it to the center. Change the color and that's it. Okay, now let's look for an orange image. I want a vintage look image with a lot of details. Here it is. Okay, let's adjust the position and also make it a bit bigger. I'd like to change the color of the leaf too. Okay, that looks great. And now press R for rectangle. I'm gonna adjust it. Okay, move it backward. Um, forward it looks cool now add a new page I'm going to make the primary text believe me it's easier this way Type the text and I'm gonna use a custom font. It's called Martabug. I bought it in Creative Market, I think. I love this font and it looks nice with this poster. Now make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna copy it three times. For the bottom one, I just changed the color into a burnt orange and then I put a hollow effect for the middle one, make the thickness to 100 and then change the color to white. So the top one, I'm gonna put lift effect to make a subtle shadow. Now I'm going to layer it on top of each other. And then group it. And now I have this nice sticker cutout effect. Okay, I'm gonna bring this back to our design. Rotate it. Adjust the position. And I think it looks pretty for now. Mm. 
Okay, now I want to add a label like non-GMO and 100% natural to convince our bag. I will overlap it with the orange. Um, should I put gluten free, organic, and free range too? I'm sure it will make this orange to be a bit more pricey. Okay, this looks pretty nice. Let's let's add a leaf to make it more, you know, natural. Resize it and put it in the center. I think the leaf is a bit too small. Okay, now looks great. Now I want to add another text, fresh and delicious. Let's add another text on the right bottom part too. I'm going I'm going to add a grunge overlay so the poster looks more vintage. Which one should I choose? Okay, this looks nice. Now I'm going to put a frame.
make it center okay but hold on I need to change the label I need to reposition this I don't want to make it in the same line as the leaf but I want to make it you know visually balanced Ok that's it and now let's download the design This is the final look. You can add a shadow behind the orange and the leaves to add more depth. But for now, I will keep it this way. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I'm very sorry if my pronunciation is a bit hard to understand and also pardon me for my accent. Have a good day and uh, stay hydrated. Bye bye.